Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I just wanted to show this off. Um, this is a uh, wireless remote and receiver. Uh, the receiver turns on, uh, well it can turn on 120 volts AC. Uh, and what makes this special is it it uh, toggles. You can actually set it up so that it just it does not latch, it just stays on as long as you hold the button. It won't be used for this application, I made this for a customer. Uh, it applies 12 volts to a load. Uh, an electromagnetic load and it's actually protected uh, via a shunting diode back here. It's got a battery backup option. On the left hand side there is a uh, the primary input. On the right hand side there's the battery backup input. Actually it doesn't really matter but the, uh, the first pin on the left is uh, 12 volts, 12 volts in. Uh, second from the, le from the left is ground, third from the left is ground, and fourth from the left or first on the right is uh, your battery backup, which is 12 volts, and that'll when I turn on the uh, when I turn on the when I get turn the uh, device on, the relay will latch and it will apply 12 volts to the ele the uh, electromagnetic device. Yeah, in this case, I'm just just for the sake of um, just for the sake of showing it off, I've got a uh, an LED bank. Now the uh, receiver, what I've done is I've made a little antenna, a homemade antenna, and I've plugged it into the receiver board just so that I get a uh, better uh, distance. I get about 85 meters worth of distance on this and when I press C the, uh, the the device will turn on. And when I turn it off press C again. Now I can walk down the block. I actually, I, uh, actually I did a test the other day. I had someone watch this and I called them on my cell phone and I said okay uh, tell me every time it's on, tell me every time it's off. So I'd go down the road uh, about 10 meters at a time press the C button and uh, she'd say on and I press it again she'd say off so I, ha I have a lot of distance on this thing it's a bit bigger but this is just a prototype yeah uh, if the project goes on what I'll do is I'll make a custom PCB that's uh, less than half the size uh, and it won't look so nasty I've got one of my custom relay boards on here yeah uh, it it's glued because I didn't have uh, any nuts and bolts and underneath there's a little bit of wiring, so again, not the most uh, physically appealing looking device, but it certainly works, and what wouldn't you know it, I got lucky. Worked first time, no issues, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I had to put an extra 5 volt regulator on there, and I had to heat sink it, because uh, everything's regulated down to 5 volts, especially considering that it's a relatively high power circuit. So, battery backup, your, your mains goes out and then you got a battery hooked up here it'll still operate like normal and uh... your electric, his electromagnetic device uh, will turn on and off every time he presses the C button easy to use kinda bulky kinda cool looking though but again it will look aesthetically better when uh, the real device is designed and I'll design the PCB anyway just wanted to share it uh... hopefully you guys find it a little bit interesting kinda neat to look at uh... I love this stuff Anyway, thanks for watching. Visit us at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. I've got uh, at least 65 new products on the way, hopefully up within the next six weeks. I'll certainly have at least 30 new products in the next three weeks up. So please don't hesitate to check us out. Uh, electroniclessons.com will take you to our eBay store. Thanks for watching, guys.